about the requirements for life and I'll add that I'm going to talk about them as um, for life as we know that life on earth. Right. But some of these requirements we think are universal and would be present elsewhere in the universe. So life is based on chemical reactions. And those reactions uh, depend on water. Water is the universal a solvent as an oxygen, of course, and two hydrogens. And it's got um, a little bit of a charge difference in it. And it's a very special molecule in the way it catalyzes chemical reactions. Um, life, uh, the, the life works. Life works with enzymes, and those enzymes are made up of some specific elements. And those include carbon, um, which really makes nice complicated chains of molecules, hydrogen, um, nitrogen, which is a key component of amino acids, which make proteins and enzymes. Um, there's also oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. So life on Earth uh, requires all of these particular elements. And then the third thing is um, a life has metabolism. It needs energy to be able to control the chemical reactions, to add biomass, um, to reproduce. And so this energy is uh, extracted from the environment. So we can ask the question about why these three things for all, for all life in the universe. Why scientists often think that these, these are the key things that are needed. And it really comes down to uh, the uniqueness of the combination um, of liquid water uh, behavior and that polar characteristics. The elements, the key one is the behavior of carbon. And we think that life needs to be based on carbon uh, because the, of the way carbon molecules bond with each other, with hydrogen, and with these other elements. So you can make various rings of carbon. I drew one with uh, six, but it can also have five. Uh, it can have um, hydrogens attached to it, nitrogens attached to it, oxygen. And these rings and uh, chains of carbon can form very complicated structure. And so the, those complicated structures that are chemically reactive are really good at performing reactions. So there aren't any other elements uh, that are commonly available as created in stars that basically have uh, this um, this property. The form of energy can vary. So on Earth, photosynthesis and the use of light, changing it to chemical energy, supports our biosphere. But you can also have uh, water reacting with rocks and um, particularly things like Iron and sulfur in rocks can give uh, chemical energy as well. So you don't need light and photosynthesis to support a biosphere. You can basically uh, have reactions between water and often uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, uh, 
um, reacting with rocks to create that chemical energy. And basically the sources of energy are available sort of throughout the universe. So when we are actually looking for life elsewhere, for example, on the surface of Mars or maybe under the ice on Europa, we're usually looking for um, liquid water and we're looking for carbon. Carbon is a super abundant element. Um, it's one of the ones that is, is created in, in the interiors of stars. And so carbon is present almost everywhere. So when we look at Mars, we know we have rocks um, and we have light. So we know there's a source of energy. Uh, we know carbon is present. There's carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And so a lot of what we're looking for is where and how liquid water was distributed on the surface of Mars. The recent missions have demonstrated that there is frozen water on Mars and the sedimentology of uh, Gale Crater, for example, as well as other areas that we can see from orbit suggests that we had liquid water and that it was long lived. So we say that an environment is habitable Um, if it could provide these three things, right? The water, the schnapps elements, and the energy. So the surface of Mars was habitable billions of years ago. The surface of Mars right now is too cold to have liquid water, it just has ice. And so the surface is not habitable um, on an ongoing basis right now. So if we come back to thinking about life on Earth, we have liquid water almost everywhere on near the surface and um, kilometers deep into uh, the continental and oceanic crust. Uh, the elements of uh, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur are really common on the surface of Earth. And we have chemical energy with the reaction of the water and rock and uh, in, in the interior and surface of the Earth. And we also have light energy um, from the sun. So we would say that Earth is... Uh, in some sense, very habitable. Thanks for watching.